All right, hello. We are going to learn today how to create your own website page on Richard Gordon Elementary website. Let's start with going to Richard Gordon Elementary website. There, go to About, Contact Us. Teacher directory, teacher web pages. If you don't see your name listed, please contact our office manager and she will set it up for you. I will use my website for the example. It has a lot more subdivisions because I've been working on it for a while. Yours will probably have just one text box in the middle. You will need to log in with your school credentials and turn design mode on. on. We will start with changing the content boxes. If you don't have one content box in the middle of your screen, you will be able to drag one down once it's populated. You can drag and drop I don't need to drop it. I already have plenty of content boxes. So once you have one, you can start adding information to it. Click edit. To change the look of the text that you are inputting, you, um, you do it right here. That's your uh, text color, background color, um, style, font, etc. And size. My computer is slow. Once you've inserted everything you want uh, to greet your visitors, you are ready to publish. Before we move on, I do want to uh, talk about pictures. You can insert pictures simply by copying and pasting. Let's say you have something open with a picture you want to insert. Right click, copy image, go back to the page and right click, paste. It will be rather large. You can click on it and change the size by dragging this um, the corners down. I don't need it. I clicked Control Z to delete it for now. Um, once you're happy with your the layout, publish. There is publish button on the top and on the bottom of the screen. Again, I don't need to do that. So let's now look at the sub pages. On the left, you have sub pages. You probably have one to begin with. If you need to add more, there is the plus button to add more links on the left. One more important skill is whichever page you're on, let's go to digital learning resources, for example. Many links here leading you to different websites. So to insert an external link, what you do is, again, on this page, when on a different page, you will need to turn on the design again, design mode. mode. Edit. To insert a link, type any text. For example, here, I'll use just this text here. Um, highlight it. Click hyperlink manager. Have a link ready to be inserted. For example, if I go to this page, I copy that link, control C, go back. All right. Yep. Delete what is in there. Delete, control V to paste my link. Tooltip, click to explore. Okay. And as you can see, it's highlighted now. That means it's now an active link. I don't need that, so I won't publish. I won't save the changes. That's it. 